all around the world, large changes to both Earth's climate and the stability of its crust and tectonic plates has been observed for years with building alarm. After a series of devastating earthquakes hit Mexico, killing hundreds of people, and volcanoes all across the plate boundaries rumbled back to life, many experts and scientists are becoming increasingly worried that the Ring of Fire has awakened. The first and most important place to start is by understanding what the Ring of Fire is and how all of this is connected to our current time. The Ring of Fire represents a series of large tectonic plate boundaries in the Pacific Basin covering more than 25,000 miles, which includes 75% of all the active volcanoes on Earth. Roughly 90% of all earthquake activity on the planet occurs along this dynamic boundary, showing the extreme instability and dangers associated for communities living near them. The Ring of Fire is created from numerous plate boundaries interacting against one another, either from being subducted or uplifted. This collision is a trigger for what causes both earthquakes and volcanoes. Millions of people live in close proximity to these faults and often forget how active they can become. Our short lifetimes as humans pales in comparison to that of the geologic record of time which shows devastating events that occurred 12,000 years ago, leading to the rapid end of the Ice Age and the disappearance of ancient civilizations long ago, we now only consider just a myth. Interestingly enough, the objective researcher will shockingly discover that the same time period given for the destruction of the famous lost city of Atlantis roughly 12,000 years ago from violent Earth changes is verified from both ice core samples from Greenland as well as mentioned extensively in both the Timaeus and Critias by the famous philosopher Plato, who had deep knowledge of its past existence and location from studying ancient Egyptian records. Like collective amnesia, humanity now laughs at the very idea of Atlantis and ignores evidence right in front of them, pointing towards destructive earth changes that occurred, which caused entire advanced civilizations to simply disappear and become lost to time. During that time period, evidence suggests that the tectonic plates of the planet became disrupted by a possible pole shift of the magnetic field of the Earth, which led to enormous tsunamis and volcanic eruptions that changed the entire climate of the planet for thousands of years. This time period, known as the Younger Dryas, featured rapid warming within the planet and disruptions to the oceans and plates from some unknown gravitational force not yet acknowledged by mainstream scientists that seems to be periodically affecting the Earth every few thousand years. After years of record global temperatures across the planet with melting glaciers and ice caps, this rapid warming cycle of the Earth and the building pressure within is once again leading to great instability of the crustal plates, climates and oceans and is raising alarm bells with many scientists. Over the last several months, thousands of medium-sized earthquakes, known as swarms, ranging up to 8.1 on the Richter scale, have been affecting the entire Ring of Fire plate boundary with increasing intensity. Most of this activity has been largely ignored by the media out of fears of panic to society. These earthquake swarms along the fault lines have been accompanied by increased volcanism, with more than a dozen active volcanoes along the Ring of Fire boundary and others threatening large eruptions, such as the 10,000-foot Mount Agung in Indonesia, where thousands of people have been evacuated with the highest threat level issued. So the big question is, what is this all leading to? Most should all remember the destructive events of 2011, when large earthquakes set off a series of deadly tsunamis which wiped out entire coastal areas across the Indian and Western Pacific basins. Before that event occurred, very similar signals began appearing, with several months of intense earthquake swarms and volcanoes across the entire plate boundary. This cycle seems to repeat itself over and over, and there are strong indications, looking at all the evidence around the planet, that the events that are occurring now may be leading to something much larger. This information is not meant as fear-mongering, but to inform society of the truth of what is occurring around our world and to warn of much more serious events that may come. 
We must as a global collective stand together during these challenging times and stay informed of what is happening around the planet and not allow fear and greed to rule our world. Just as we are changing, the Earth is in a constant state of change and we must either adapt and get smarter about our actions or disappear just like the past civilizations before us.